Hi, this is Ray Lewis. This is Maximum Fitness. I just read that the NFL Network named you the 18th best player of all time. And, you know, you're one of the most decorated players in the history of the league, obviously, for good reason, because you do all the work and you are winning all these accolades through the hard work. But I just wanted to know, and I think the readers would be interested in knowing, how have you evolved as a player? When I started to evolve was when I sat down with Marvin Lewis one day and I said, teach me the way a coach knows it. I want to learn exactly the way a coach knows it. Show me why, why you watch film, why you study this tendency, why you do, why, show me the breakdowns you go through. When I grabbed that from him, it changed my life because of the knowledge side of it. He always told me, he said, look, man, you can run like anybody I've ever seen. If you ever add what you ask me for in your game, he said, we'll be talking about the legacy you left. And it's the same knowledge and thought process that, that you take with that part of it. Same thing in nutrition, same thing in competition, same thing in work ethic. It's all the same for me. Build yourself up to grab enough knowledge as you can to make sure it fits you. Not nobody else, it fits you. And that's why when I train, I don't train, or I don't eat the way I eat, I don't study the way I study for a game, I do it for a lifestyle. I read recently that you're averaging about 40 collisions a week. I think that's a fair assessment. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of collisions. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of pain. That's a lot of punishment. Like you said, sometimes you get hurt. How do you prepare your body for that level of impact yeah. that often? No pain lasts always. Yeah. No pain. Yeah, it's, it's a very easy concept. I get past pain very quickly. The only way to deal with it is to recognize it exists. And once you do, move on. I got to keep moving. Got to go. Same thing with a play. If I hit somebody hard and, and pop and I feel it, I'm like, mm, okay, got to go. Next play, you know, next play. And, and that's it. Now, when we say workout, mm -hmm. someone thinks workout, they think, okay, I'm going to go to the gym over lunch three times a week, maybe hit it hard for 25 minutes. <laughs> the, let's define workout because I hear there's maybe one workout that lasts several hours, and then as time progresses and we get close to training camp, there's seven workouts? Seven. You said you're not training for a sport. No. You're training. You're yes. training you. Yes. What do you do that's different from the average football player? Every workout that I draw up is designed to fail. You're not there to make it. So if that's if that's on your mindset, then you kind of already defeated yourself. You know, I look at us as three part beings, mind, body, spirit. Before you challenge your body, you got to challenge your mind. Before you even think about your mind, hopefully your spirit is what got you up. You see, so when you step in the weight room, your body, I really don't care about it. So the torture that I'm about to take it through, and you see, that's what, that's the knowledge behind this. That's the knowledge behind my longevity. That's the knowledge behind what we have to start sharing with more people. I don't train for a sport. I train for a lifestyle. We're at the end of our workout. I hope my intensity helps your intensity. Let's get it.